morning, everybody. It is February 26, 2022, Saturday morning. I feel like I should have cartoons on, but the girl is in bed. <laughs> she has just been a love bug. I am in the Book of Mormon. I am in Nephi, two, Second Nephi, Chapter 3. Joseph in Egypt saw the Nephites in vision. He prophesied of Joseph Smith, the latter-day seer of Moses, who would deliver Israel, and of the coming forth of the Book of Mormon. And Harley, what are you doing? And now I speak unto you, Joseph, my lastborn. Thou wast born in the wilderness of mine afflictions, yea, in the days of my greatest sorrow. Did thy mother bear tree, bear thee? And may the Lord consecrate also unto thee this land, which is a most precious land for thine inheritance and the inheritance of thy seed with thy brethren for thy security forever. If it so be that ye shall keep the commandments of the Holy One of Israel. And now Joseph, my last born, whom I have brought out of the wilderness of mine afflictions. May the Lord bless thee forever, for thy seed shall not utterly be destroyed. For behold, thou art the fruit of my loins, and I am a descendant of Joseph, who was carried captive into Egypt. And great were the covenants of the Lord, which he made unto Joseph. Wherefore Joseph truly saw our day, and he obtained a promise of the Lord that out of the fruit of his loins the Lord God would raise up his righteous branch unto the house of Israel, not the Messiah, but a branch which was to be broken off, nonetheless, nevertheless, to be remembered in the covenants of the Lord, that the Messiah should be made manifest unto them in the latter days. And the spirit, <coughs> hey, shh, and the spirit of power unto the, unto the bringing of them out of darkness unto light, Yea, out of the hidden darkness, and out of captivity unto freedom. And Joseph, for Joseph truly testified, saying, A seer shall the Lord my God raise up, who shall be a choice steer unto the fruit of my loins. Yea, Joseph truly said, Thus saith the Lord unto me, A choice seer will I raise up out of the fruit of thy loins, and he shall be esteemed highly among the fruit of thy loins. And unto him will I give commandment that he shall do a work for the fruit of thy loins, his brethren, which shall be of great worth unto them, even to the bringing of them to the knowledge of the covenants which I have made with thy fathers. And I will give unto him a commandment that he shall do none other work save the work which I shall command him. And I will make him great in my eyes for he shall do my work. And he shall be great like unto Moses, whom I have said I would raise up unto you to deliver my people, O house of Israel. And Moses will raise up to deliver my people out of the land of Egypt. Take care of your baby, Hira. But a seer will I raise up out of the fruit of thy loins. And unto him will I give power to bring forth my word unto thy, the seed of thy loins, and not to the, bringeth forth my word only, saith the Lord, but to the convincing them of my word, which shall have already gone forth among them. Wherefore the fruit of thy loins shall write, and the fruit of the loins of Judah shall write, and that which shall be written by the fruit of thy loins, and also that which shall be written by the fruit of the loins of Judah shall grow together unto the confounding of false doctrines and laying down of contentions and establishing peace among the fruit of thy loins and bringing them to the knowledge of their fathers in the latter days and also to the knowledge of my covenants, saith the Lord. And out of the weaknesses, weakness he shall be made strong in that day when my work shall commence among all my people. Unto the restoring thee, O house of Israel, saith the Lord. And thus prophesied Joseph, saying, Behold, that seer will the Lord bless, 
and that these seek to destroy him shall be confounded for this promise which I have obtained of the Lord of the fruit of my loins shall be fulfilled behold I am sure of the fulfilling of this promise and his name shall be called after me and it shall be after the name of his father and he shall be like unto me for the thing which the Lord shall bring forth by his hand by the power of the Lord shall bring my people into salvation. Yea, thus prophesies Joseph, I am sure of this thing, even as I am sure of the promise of Moses. For the Lord hath said unto me, I will preserve thy seed forever. And the Lord hath said, I will raise up a Moses, and I will give power unto him in a rod, and I will give judgment unto him in writing. I had a Moses, he was my trash guy, and he's a love. Yet I will not lose his tongue, that he shall speak much, for I will not make him mighty in speaking. But I will write unto him my law by the finger of mine own hand, and I will make a spokesman for him. And the Lord said unto me also, I will raise up unto the fruit of thy loins, and I will make for him a spokesman. And I behold, I will give unto him, that he shall write the writing of the fruit of thy loins. Unto the fruit of thy loins, and the spokesman of thy loins, shall declare it. And the words which he shall write shall be the words which are expedient, in my wisdom should go forth unto the fruit of thy loins. And it shall be as if the fruit of thy loins had cried unto them from the dust, for I know their faith. And they shall cry from the dust, yea, even repentance unto their brethren, even after many generations have gone by them. And it shall come to pass that their cry shall go, even according to the simpleness of my, their words. Because of their faith, their words shall proceed forth out of my mouth unto their brethren, who are the fruit of thy loins. And the weakness of their words will I make strong in their faith unto the remembering of my covenant which I made unto thy fathers. And now behold my son Joseph, after this manner did my father of old prophecy. Wherefore, because of this covenant, thou art blessed, for thy seed shall not be destroyed. Look how beautiful my two girls look beside each other. Oh, be still my heart. Could they get any cuter? Oh. I'm going to get over Harvey's noses off. There we go. Oh, so sweet. Okay, just listen. Wherefore, because of this covenant, thou art blessed, for thy shield, seed shall not be destroyed, for they shall hearken unto the words of the book. And there shall rise up one mighty among them, who shall do much good, both in word and in deed, being an instrument in the hands of God, oh, with exceeding faith to work mighty wonders, and do that thing which is great in the sight of God, unto the bringing to pass much restoration into the house of Israel and unto the seed of thy brethren. Or how about into justice? And now blessed art thou, Joseph, behold, thou art little. Wherefore hearken unto the words of thy brother Nephi, and it shall be done unto thee, even according to the words which I have spoken. Remember the words of thy dying father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wowzers. They all go together, don't they? Well, if you watch all of them, you can see how they all are different pieces of the puzzle. So, enjoy your Saturday morning. I'm enjoying my snuggle time with my girls. They're the greatest gift on earth. Well, one of the greatest things. There's so many gifts on earth. There's just so many. enjoyed our video. Have a great Saturday morning. A great Saturday period. Love you.